Hi Flosstube, it's Dawn of the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Friday the 5th of April and I'm here for an update. Um, I hope you've had a really good two weeks. My week, this, final, this last week has been pretty challenging but we're getting there. <laughs> um, just a few things that were really unexpected um, happened. I'm not going to go into them because I'm just... I've thought about it to death and I don't want to think about it anymore if possible. <laughs> um, I mentioned um, in my last video that I was um, trying to get into some um, volunteer work and I thought it had fallen through but um, because the, the training that they were offering was on a day that wouldn't have suited me at all and it was going to be in the city and I didn't want to have to go into the city on a day when I'm supposed to be looking after my daughter. So um, I said maybe I can wait until the new term comes in with new dates and see what happens there. But um, the regional manager from this area said that there are a couple of other people who also want to do the same training and she organised it for um, for it to happen just down the road from me on a Wednesday which is when my daughter's at preschool. Um, so that's going to go ahead on the 17th of April um, and then I will start in term two. I'm actually doing an observation. It's um, kind of teaching in a classroom environment. I will be observing from next Wednesday and then the training will happen on the 17th of April and then the following Wednesday is still part of school holidays but then I will go back as a helper on the week after and then that will be every Wednesday so I think um, Fridays is going to be the day um, that I will be filming from now on um, so yeah um, another thing that happened was I met up with a couple of um, my old workmates from when I used to work full-time and that was really fun and um, it was really good to see, particularly my ex-boss, who I haven't seen since my little girl was probably about six months old. And my little girl is now four and a half, so it's been a few years. So it was good to catch up with them. Um, I hope you've all had a good, really good week. And I'm going to go get straight into it because it's, it's already nearly two o'clock and I've got to go and pick up my daughter um, in a couple of hours. And... Um, this normally takes the filming as well as the editing etc normally takes about that long so hopefully um, I can manage to do it all before I have to leave to get her um, all right whips um, I actually had two finishes uh, which were really really good the first one was a small one it was from Santa's village um, Santa stocking store so this was a new start and a finish and I won't put in a picture of what it looked like last time because it was basically the top row. And I put in that one there, that's the stocking store. The only thing that's missing is the, there were a couple of pom-poms that were supposed to go on one of the stockings. Um, they're supposed to be French knots, but I think I'm going to bead them because my French knots are always monkey. I also mentioned in my previous, in the previous times I've showed this, um, this project that I probably wouldn't be putting in the candy stripe on this row. Um, but I found it really hard to place my um, snowflakes and then everything else without it and I thought it looked a bit a bit strange without having that up there so I decided to put it in and I'll just work on it slowly I don't enjoy it but the rest of the piece is really fun so I'll grin and bear it <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's the fifth installment of Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks and and then I had a really large finish and I'm sure if you saw my last video you might remember um, I was working on Story Keep Secret Door by Heaven and Earth Designs and here's what it will look what it looks like now that it's finished. That 
that's the mock-up. Here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. I've given it a bath and let it dry and ironed it. Um, I only finished it late last night. So I washed it late last night and it, it seemed it dried overnight, which was really good. It was kind of still damp, but I thought if I iron it, that will, that will um, dry it off completely and it did. And so it's done. And I'm so happy. I started this in August, 2017. And I finished it the 4th of April 2019. So I worked on it continuously since Monday. I didn't have that much to go and I finished it. Um, a lot of it was, well it was this corner that I was kind of working on and a lot of it, except for this little bit here, it was blacks and browns mainly so it went really quick and I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to frame it and put it up on my wall. I don't know when that's going to be, but hopefully soon. And I love it. And now I only have three full coverage pieces on the go for now. Um, next, my next um, Heaven and Earth Designs piece that I'll work on is my stocking, um, stocking for faithful friends. Um, but this one is now done and I'm really happy. So that's 25 count Lugana and I stitched it one over one four crosses. Um, if you look at the black and brown, you may be able to see a little bit of the fabric through that. But I think from far away, it looks fine. Um, and you know what, now that I've washed it and ironed it, it actually looks a lot better than it did while I was stitching on it. Um, it seems like the the stitches have kind of moved in a bit and come closer together and you can't really see the fabric as much as I could while I was stitching on it. So um, for my stitch nine challenge, I've now completed four out of the nine that I said I would complete. So that's really good. Um, really excited to be getting through that list. I also worked on Jane Austen at the Christmas Ball by Books Books Publishing, which is this. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And I've just continued working on the skirt and that's it there. Still a long way to go, but it's kind of nice to pull out sometimes and work on. So that's a lot of fun. And then I worked on Autumn Queen by Mirabilia, which will look like this when it's finished. And here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here she is now. And this is on a piece of 28 Count Lugana called Rocket Queen by Colour Cascade Fabrics here in Australia. But there is where the first page comes to. And I'm really hoping I can finish the first page by next, by the end of next month. Uh, by the end of this month, sorry, April. But we will see. I didn't quite get to halfway of what was left on that first page um, during the week that I have spent on it. So we will see. Um, I'll do my best. So yeah, really enjoying that. I think I've decided, I may change my mind, but I think I'm gonna go back to doing Whisper White in one strand rather than two. This was, although the coverage is better, I don't like working with two strands and I really enjoyed working on it over here. And even though the coverage isn't as good, I did enjoy it and it doesn't look bad and I'm all about enjoying my cross stitch, so. I might go back and remove all the whisper, whisper white thread that I've already put in using two strands and go back and do it in one strand. And then the Prairie Schooler alphabet, I pulled this out, I think in between projects. Um, so 
I'm working on the PQR blocks and here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. Still in my Q slap because I have now gone back to to working on it and um, I'm working on Q for quilts or quilting no quilt yeah quilting sorry um, I'm trying to read it off the chart and um, it's, it's harder to read but um, yeah it's that one up there so Q for quilting and I'm doing it there and um, I will take this out of the Q-snap and you'll be able to see the whole thing next month because then I'll finish this piece of fabric and I'll move on to my third piece. I'm doing this in, blo in box of nine. Um, so on three different pieces of 28 count Lugana, one over one, four crosses. So they're my whips and finishes. Um, I had a lot of haul, so I'll go through it slowly. Um, stash on load, I found some Mill Hill kits that were um, just the charts. So the perforated paper, the thread and the beads aren't included. Um, but this one is called Snow Globe. I love that. I think it's so, so pretty. But I will need to find a dark blue piece of um, perforated paper, which I, I should be able to. Um, I also found these two, which are the only two that I didn't have of this sleigh series. So I've got Vintage Sleigh and Toyland Sleigh. And again, they're just the charts. And then I placed an order with 123 Stitch. And I've got this Rain Rain Go Away by the Prairie Schooler. Not because I don't like rain, but because I, find, I think that's really pretty. And this is the original. So I was happy with that original cardstock and all of a sudden I'm really into the Prairie Schooler whereas I never used to like them so I'm just been seeing so many people working on it and I really liked what I've seen um, last in my last video I think I showed this one which I got from Tash the Starcross Stitcher um, whose mum owns a fabric shop and um, Tash's working on the cross stitch side of the shop um, so this one is called a gentleman's daughter by plum street samplers and i ordered some fabric from one two three stitch um, to stitch that on so this is 30 36 count opal edinburgh linen and this is a picture this plus in opal i think that was the color the colorway And then for, oh, and I also got some of the threads that I'd need. I didn't get all of the specialty threads because there were some, I think I needed Onyx, um, which I think is just black. So I'm just going to use DMC 310 and a couple of others that I thought I could just use DMC to substitute. So that's some of the threads that I need. And then I also got Tudor Maiden um, in my last video. And I ordered the, th the fabric. It is supposed to go on some the primitive hair fabric, um, but I I just decided to just get some from One Two Three Stitch, and this is kind of this is thirty count aspen linen fabric um, by Week Star Works, and it's. It's supposed to go on 30 count, so it will come out the right size to go on the plaque. I also got some some thread that's supposed to go with it. Um, this is Week Star Works in brick. So that's one of the main colors that will be used, and I think it looks really nice on there. Some gold chronic. Um, this is 002 in number four braid. So that's for the Tudor Maiden by the Primitive Hair, which like that. And I think I'll be starting that shortly. I really, I'm really feeling a pull towards it. Um, 
I was on one of the Mirabilia Facebook pages and I'm a member of quite a few so I can't remember exactly which one this showed up in but a lady was selling Waiting for Ships which I have been after for a while now and it is out of print and I was so happy to find it. It was a little bit more than I was willing to pay but I figure I've had such good luck finding other pieces for such a good price that I didn't mind paying a little bit extra for this one. And the back is, it's MD35 and it says, Once a long time ago, a young mermaid chanced upon a handsome ship's captain and promptly fell in love. Now she waits amidst the rocks and sea spray, waiting for his ship to return. Meanwhile, she becomes impossibly more beautiful, her chestnut hair growing ever longer, her emerald and aqua fins and towel shimmering even brighter in the sun. Does he still love her? Will he come back? The story is yours to finish. That's so charming and she's really pretty. And then I placed an order with one of my favorite Etsy stores um, and I ordered Stargazer because I've been seeing people stitch this. There's so many other floss tubers stitching this at the moment and it's stunning. Um, a couple of other floss tubers are doing conversions. Um, Jesse Marie does stuff and Stitch and Mummy are both doing conversions, their own conversions, and they're both beautiful. And Anne P is also stitching this, but I think she's using the original colors and that's beautiful as well. So again, I didn't want this to go out of print before I got it. So I, I went to, I ordered it. Um, I think it's MD88 and sorry, I'll just, it's just gone out of the window. Um, it says, white glowing stars reflect over a gown of satin ribbons and brocade. The dress is stitched in soft greys and dusty blues and covered in swirling starry beads. As the lady watches the sky filled with luminous diamonds, she wishes upon them all. Dreams placed on a star really can come true. And then, um, Journey of a Stitcher also had these four Mill Hill kits on sale and they're a set so I got the whole set. Um, this is a visit from St Nick Quartet, that's the name of the set and this one's called Stockings Were Hung. I just think these are so cute. Um, to All A Good Night. This one is A Jolly Old Elf. And the children were nestled. I really like those. And that's it. Oh, and Journey of a Stitcher was so nice. She sent me a Coloris piece of thread, um, skein of thread. And this one is 4518. So I really like the colours in that one. So thank you again, Nicole, for your wonderful service. Again, she managed to send, send these out all within on the same day that I ordered them amazing um, and then I read one book I finished one book and I'm currently reading another two um, I finished I think I hadn't started it the last time I was with you but I'd finished in my last video I had finished two um, psychological thrillers and I needed something a bit lighter and I picked up before I knew by Jamie Beck it's on my Kindle so I can't really show you what it looks like um, but I will put all the details below. Um, I just want to mention too that I mentioned in my last video that I would put all the book details in the comment in the section below and I didn't actually get to do that until last Wednesday so um, if you were looking for it and you couldn't see it um, they're there now. I'm sorry um, it took me so long I completely forgot to put books. I put everything else in but completely forgot books. So I will endeavour to remember that this time. Um, but I finished Before I Knew by Jamie Beck. Um, it's basically a romance. It's about um, two people who grew up together and through traumatic circumstances, they kind of come back together after um, being apart for quite a few years and work in a restaurant. And um, it's pretty predictable, so I'm not giving anything away, but they they fall in love. Um, or trying to resist each other and it's just basically typical romance but I enjoyed it um, so that was I enjoyed that one 
Um, I'm also currently reading, and this one is also on my Kindle, it's called The Walls of Luca by Steve Fiziok. And um, I'm probably about 70% of the way through it. Um, it's basically set around the time of the First World War in Italy and um, the coming of or the growing of the um, fascist party and how it impacts the day-to-day -day lives of the citizens of Italy. Um, I will talk more about that when I finish it and I, sh I should be done with that by the time of my next video. I'm also, I've just started The Last Days of the Romanov Dancers by Kerry Turner and I'm really enjoying that and um, so far nothing much has happened at all but it's well written so I think I'll enjoy that one. For plans, um, I want to finish the Q block in the Prairie Schooler alphabet and I'll be working on that um, today and into next week. I also want to spend at least one week on Autumn Queen and if I can manage to finish the front page um, that'll be really great and then I will spin the wheel for the last week of April. Um, now a lot of people took part in um, Stephanie Misoso Crafty's um, birthday sale and I really wanted to take part but I also really wanted to finish um, my Hade so I just decided to finish my Hade and um, I want to wish Stephanie a really happy birthday. Um, I know it's it was a couple of days ago but I hope she had a really nice day um, but that's why I didn't participate in that sale. Um, I know that Jessie Marie Does Stuff has a birthday sale coming up later on in April and it's basically stitching on a piece that you enjoy and maybe has some special meaning behind it so I'm thinking about which one to stitch for those three days um, and I think that's it for plans um, and I think that's the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing and commenting I really love uh, reading all your comments and replying to them so thank you for that and I hope everyone has a really nice two weeks and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.